Wow, first to go, no pressure. Um, all right. Aren't you frustrated uh, by how outdated the technology in your car is? And even if you have some cool technology in your car, aren't you afraid that a year from now, this technology will be completely outdated, and the only way to change that is to buy a new car? So it's not a surprise that companies like Apple and Google are trying to get their technology in some of the new cars. Although this may solve a small part of the problem, I want you to ask yourself this. What about more than one billion vehicles on the road right now? That's why we created Vinly. Vinly is a connected car platform that enables building applications and services for your car. It can make a car manufactured after 1996, which is almost every car on the road right now, smarter than a car that just left the assembly line. The Vinly platform uses this small device to connect and communicate with your car. So let me show you how it works for a consumer. It's actually pretty simple. The device plugs into your car under the dash. Don't worry, it's as easy as plugging a USB device into your computer. And then you can download the Vinly app catalog and start using apps right away. We already built a number of apps on the platform so consumers can use Vinly from day one. We built some apps for safety. So I'll start with Beagle. Beagle ensures that your teens are driving safely. It sends you alerts if they drive recklessly or if they speed. It can even tell you things that, like if they miss school. We also have services and, uh, like eCall, which is an automatic crash detection service similar to OnStar. Another app called Lock and Key, which locates your car and alerts you if it was stolen. We also built some apps to save you money, like Auto, which diagnoses your car and gets bids for you, or Insured, which could lower your insurance premium. And of course, we built apps to make driving more fun, like Race, which is an app that was built for speed. It logs your video, a video of your trip, hundreds of engine readings, combine them in, interactive interface you can share with your friends. And another app called Drive, which logs your trips, gives you great feedback, and makes driving more social. We also have an app that connects your car to your home, and an app for Google Glass. And I can keep going on and on, and other apps and services that are available or, or in the making. All of that, all of that is available at a phenomenal price of $49.99 for our Vinly Basic device. At $149.99 for our Vinly Complete, which includes Bluetooth, LTE, Wi-Fi hotspot, and advanced crash reporting capability. With Vinly, we also wanted to bring this consumer experience to the enterprise. Similar to the consumers, companies can buy Vinly devices, plug it into their fleet, and start using business applications. Applications like Fleet Tracker, which enables them to manage and track their fleet. And they can even customize it to their own exact needs. And that's only for $149.99 per year, and that includes the device and includes the data plan. But that's not it. All the stuff that I talked about is great, but wait until you hear this. From this stage, I'm excited to announce that Vinly is open for developers. With Vinly, we had the developers as our center point and our focus right from the start. Generally, developers could not build applications for the car without considerable investment. And even with the limited capacity where they can, they're usually siloed within a car manufacturer make and model. Well, not anymore. With Vinly, developers can build applications for the connected car regardless of their make and model because we simplified the complicated car into a simple API call. Our platform is extremely comprehensive. Starting from the hardware, developers can build their own devices and plug, you know, and plug it into Vinly device using our backpack technology. They can even have their own hardware devices and connect to the device wirelessly. Our tool set is very comprehensive. We have web APIs, SDKs for iOS, Android, Windows. We have developer kits that allows developers to simulate the car, uh, community forums to help developers to build their app. They can manage app, their applications at an extremely granular level. They can manage devices, events, rules. They can get really granular in terms of analytics down to every single API call that they made or did and get 
and know and understand how users are using their app. And of course, they can view and read our very elegantly crafted documentation. The main reason we opened this to developers is because the connected car market is huge. Just in the US, Europe, and Canada alone, you have more than 400 million vehicles of which developers could not build applications for. The connected car market is a $131 billion industry. And we wanted to enable developers to get a huge piece of this market. We are developers, and we love developers. So I'm excited to announce like, from this stage that if we win TechCrunch Disrupt, we're going to use the $50,000 towards buying a Tesla, which will be the grand prize of our Vinley Developer Challenge. Yep. Vinley is the first true technology platform for the car. If you're a consumer, go to vinley.com and pre-order your device now. If you pre-order, you'll get all Vinley initial apps for free. And if you're a developer, go to developer.vinley.com, sign up, and start building your app. The attention they've been getting and the traction we've been getting since we launched one day ago has been crazy. We have more than, we have hundreds of developers signed up already and more than 26 apps submitted to Vinley in one day since we launched. Sign up, start building your app before the device ships. We want to help you make money. And if you're a business, get in touch. We, want, we can take your fleet to the next level. Thank you. All right, great presentation. Before we go to the judges, one, uh, one housekeeping note. Just wanted to note that SV Angel has an investment in Automatic, which is a potential competitor. So to the judges, anyone want to jump in? Um, quick question, what does it do to the warranty of the vehicle? Because I thought some of the car manufacturers are very um, protective of devices like that being installed. Yep. Well, first of all, the OBD port is actually, it's, it's out of the hand of the car manufacturer. It's actually a mandate by the government that need to have it in their vehicle. Mm -hmm. The only way you'd actually avoid the warranty if it actually starts sending data in the engine and start altering data within, within the car's ECU. Okay, so long, you're only pulling data. We're pulling data. And pulling the data does not void the warranty. So I had a question around, um, can you guys hear me? Hello, hello? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? OK, so I just had a question around, um, actually, so you can't push any data. So there could be no like music pushing into the car. All you can do is basically read diagnostic information, speed of the car, potentially location through GPS. But there's not any real control you can do of the car. Is that right? Well, it, you can't, yeah, you cannot alter any data. You cannot send data. You can, but it will void warranty. So you, you're going to need to actually have an actual agreement with the car manufacturer in order to be able to do that. But the data you collect from the engine is around, you, you have more than 130 different readings you can actually read in addition to diagnostic data, including from oxygen, you know, oxygen sensors, your carbon footprint, emissions, all of that. And what, what makes Vinley's in, in really interesting for developers is that we're taking that data and we're applying a lot of algorithms on top of it in our cloud services. Really algorithms ranging, you know, ranging from predictive analytic, uh, diagnostics, not just like regular diagnostics, to know things before they actually happen, to behavioral analytics and seeing how the actual driver is driving and how safe they're driving, creating an actual driver score for that, to connectivity services, because it is a connected car. Vinley is actually completely transformed the car to a, a, a beacon that's, that's you know, driving, so it can connect, enable car to communicate with other objects and hardware, you know, for example, if you're a car warranty company, right, or car, or, um, or a, um, um, uh, a car dealership, right? You can actually just plug in a sensor in, in, in your, you know, car dealership, when someone pulls in, you can actually know who they are, get the information from the car right away. Um, and you can, I mean, and then you open it for developers and allow and unleash the potential of connecting the car to anything around, you know, from roadside units to buildings to other, other devices. That also adds, you know, uh, more potential to it. Uh, we have data collection services, you know, from, from that. And also we have safety services like eCall, which is kind of a competitor to what OnStar does. Um, and uh, so, so it's, it's basically the actual comprehensive set of cloud services for the car also makes it more, you know, uh, adds things beyond than just what the in-car uh, consumer experience. So you mentioned a lot of different value propositions, both in the presentation and in that answer. Yeah. What's the single number one value proposition? For, well, for, there are a few things. For consumers, right, that's not a value proposition for, for the consumer. It makes their car 
safer, I mean safety, right? Um, this is a huge, huge value proposition and you can do it with $50, right? That's a huge value proposition for a consumer. For developers, the value proposition, you do not have to go and raise millions of dollars to build an application for your car. We can literally, for example, build an app like Automatic, for example, in a couple of weeks, right? And, and imagine you can actually allow all developers to have that capability. But not only just applications for the car. Think of applications that businesses could, could actually take advantage if they actually got some readings from the car, from locations of the car, or whether the car is present or not. That also unleashes a big potential as well for developers. And then, and then how do you guys think about competition? Because Automatic obviously does some of this stuff, and there's a few others that plug into the ODB port, including progressive insurance, yep. like that. So how do you guys think that you'll pop sort of differentiation-wise? Yeah, um, we're the first true technology platform. We focus on developers. Our devel developers are not an afterthought for us. Developers were the focus for us right from the start. Um, yeah, you know, yes, Automatic is a very elegantly designed app, but I don't think the problem for the connected car is that you need something to measure how many hard brakes you did and how you accelerated, that's not the problem. The problem with the connected car is that the car is not connected, period. You have you know, millions of vehicles on, on the road that you cannot communicate with, you cannot interact with, and we wanted to solve that. I think we're solving a real problem. And also, we are one device, multiple apps and services, right? Um, and that's also a huge differentiator from, from a lot of competitors, especially when you only have one OBD port in, in, in your car. And one additional thing I, I want to add is that we have a backpack technology in our hardware because we created that. So with our hardware, if you can just see that, you can actually, developers, you can actually have backpacks and plug it in. One of the backpacks we have is a female backpack. So you can actually have Vinley and Automatic and Moji, all of those, working in the same car. Because we wanted to open it. Since we have one port, we wanted to enable even consumers to buy other competitors, not block that port just for us. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your developer community? What you expect them to, kinds of what kinds of applications you'd like to see them build, and how they'll participate economically? Yeah, um, honestly, it's really interesting. I've been, you know, in the past 24 hours, I've been reading just application profiles like developers that are submitting. Right? Um, they're very interesting. Some of them are actually um, raising from. Uh, um, a developer wanted to create and actually integrate a retail experience when you go to the mall and you know just drive in your car and get there. Um, uh, and um, what? car dealerships, for example, car dealerships are really interested in something like that. Warranty companies. I mean, if you're a developer, you can build an application that like allows warranty companies to actually save money, right, on warranty. So you can actually remotely diagnose the car and actually you know help consumers to maintain their vehicles. Uh, better. Um, I think also infotainment, we haven't touched that yet inside the car. We have a Wi-Fi hotspot that is built in. I think if developers can build hardware to enable streaming music inside, inside your car or, or videos to the car seats in the back for children. So also, you know, there's a lot of opportunities um, um, in there. So. so speaking of developers, generally speaking, developers have real struggles developing for multiple platforms. Mm -hmm. So there is, Apple's got a great product. It's yep. only applying to new cars. You're retrofitting into old cars. Why do you think developers are going to write for you instead of for Apple? Well, first of all, our platform, the SDK, works on Apple iOS. So, okay. so that's the thing. So that's, that's the, fir the first part. Second, Apple is not there yet. That's the first, you know, second part. So even they say the CarPlay is going to be in the car. It's already pushed a year from now, right? Um, so we have a pretty much wiggle room for that. Third. Apple is only, let's suppose I'm going to go with you hypothetically and suppose that Apple is going to have 100% market penetration and every car is going to have CarPlay, right? That's going to constitute the maximum, best case scenario, 2% of the market. With Vinley, they can build across all vehicles. That sounds like building for Android. Hmm? That, I mean, your argument is like building for Android, which most developers don't do. They start on iOS. Yeah, but the things that developers, what they care most about is to make money, right? And when you tell the developers, my market can get you into more vehicles than what Apple gives you, that, that actually, you know, also it's a compelling agreement. And also it can work on cross cars. It's the same application 
can work on different experience. So you don't need to have a Mercedes to actually have that. You can do it on a Honda Civic that's manufactured in 1996 and have the same consumer experience. That's also a huge value add. And second, we don't want to compete with Apple. We want to extend what's, what Apple is actually bringing to the car. Think of us like almost like either the Chromecast for your car or the Apple TV for your car. So whatever Apple, the more features they add into the car, we want to extend that through our cloud services. When will it be ready? All right, we started pre-orders. Uh, so uh, developers are gonna start having their developer kits and devices next month, because we want them to start building applications before the device ships. Uh, so far, our timeline from our manufacturers is gonna be early next year, beginning of February 2015. Uh, we're trying to create smaller batches uh, here in manufacturers here in the US uh, before the end of the year, but the mass production is going to be beginning of next year. David, uh, what are your thoughts? Even, no, I, even if they're a little conflicted. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm still stuck on the safety part. Can you talk a little bit more in terms of, like, if I were to, to tell a friend, hey, you have to buy this because it X, like, how does it, can you sort of hone in on the value proposition of safety? Yeah, and, absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, you know OnStar, right? Uh, if you get into an accident, they have actually, they're gonna call, the, they have, there's a call center is gonna call you and they're gonna locate your car and send the police for help, right? right. Bentley has that, can offer this feature to all aftermarket vehicles, right? Got it. Um, so that's, that's one of them. Another one, if you wanna locate your car if it was stolen, right? You can know that right, right away. Even like can do things if you go into a restaurant and a valet guy pulls a Bueller on you, it can even alert you, you know, if you do stuff like that, right? And also teen safety, actually we're getting a lot of traction you know, on that app, and I didn't expect that. Every parent who actually have teens, they would like to have this like, little snitch inside their car, right? And that would tell them if their teen is actually speeding or get into an accident or gets recklessly. So there's a lot of value add on just the, the safety aspect, but also there's saving money, money saving aspect. The usage based, based insurance is a huge market, and a lot of insurance companies are going through that. What we do with Vinley, we're not just like progressive, just go sends you a device just for progressive. We're opening that completely to all insurance companies. And what we do, we do not share personal information about the consumer. So we do not tell the insurance company your name. We just tell them you're a male, uh, that age, and this is the car, and this is how you drive, and get quotes from you. And if you choose, you would go actually and get the quotes from that. But also you can save money on that as well. So does it have connectivity to the internet then through just this device, or does it proxy through your phone? No, it actually has, there, we have two models. The Vinley basic model actually has Bluetooth that goes through your phone. The Vinley Complete has LTE and goes through the cellular network. So the you basic don't need model phone. won't work for stolen cars or tracking your kids because they can just no, it won't. Mode. No, it won't. So yeah. you need the complete model. Yep. Any other questions? All right, you guys did a great job. That was Vinley. Give it up for them, please. Thanks. Nice.